Hi, this is Patrick with OnLearningPoint.com. I wanted to introduce to you a new exciting product that we've just released, which is the Moodle uh, Learning Management System based on Amazon Web Services. Um, this is a pretty exciting release for us because this is the first time one uh, that we've actually uh, done and um, I think it comes at a very good time. Um, there's a couple reasons why we chose to finally put the two together. Um, first of all, you have a great LMS system now that's uh, really taking off. Uh, one of the things that's really good about it is the uh, amount of agile development uh, model that Moodle has adopted, which really lets, uh, which really enables the releases to come out more frequently than it did before. Uh, another thing is the user base is really taking off. It, it has already a huge user base, uh, but because of these additional enhancements that are coming out all the time, I think the user base is really really expanding more rapidly than it was before. Um, functionalities uh, also, because of these enhancements, the functionality is also increasing. Uh, they've moved some of the items out of the core product into uh, third-party enhancements and then kept the, the actual core product uh, a lot tighter. So they've reduced uh, some features in some areas but actually increased them in other areas um, and that that drives the development cycle forward a little bit faster than it did before. Uh, so why put the your learning solution into AWS or Amazon Web Services? Um, there's a couple really good compelling reasons. Uh, the first of all the first reason is a, that it's an open source learning management system. Um, and so you already know all the benefits of having um, a Moodle learning management system. Uh, the second thing is that you have zero upfront co cost in the cloud. Um, you can deploy your solution today, and so therefore you can start training today. So as soon as you deploy it, you're ready to go. You have a fully uh, fully baked solution as we say. So how do you do this? Um, how do you get started? So on our page here if you go out to onlearningpoint.com um, and click on let me just scroll back up here click on the services button and then the cloud-based learning management system that'll bring you over to this page right here that I'm showing you and if you scroll down a little bit further in that page uh, you'll see a start button um, and so it's pretty easy to get started. You just click on that that start button and that will take you to the Amazon Web Services uh, Marketplace. Right over here, uh, one important thing to note on this page is the, the region that you would be deploying this server in. Uh, you can see that there's many different data centers all around the world and so you would want to pick the one that's most, uh, that's closest to your audience. Uh, and that'll leave, let, give them the least amount of lag time between when communicating with the server. Uh, so you would just click on uh, continue here. Uh, here's a couple other options too that are worth noting before you get started. Uh, this area is one thing that I change always is the security group. Um, the security group is important uh, so you're able to connect to the server. Now I created my own security group uh, but it is not uh, hard to do so. Basically, there's a couple ports that you want to have open. Um, you want SSH and HTTP. Um, and those are the most important ones that you would want in order to get set up immediately. Um, also, the key pair is important. I have a key pair already defined here. Uh, but if you didn't have one, you would just create one. Go back up. Click on Accept Terms and Launch. Uh, you can see that you're going to estimate that your monthly cost is going to be $97. Um, and that's broken down into part of that is a monthly maintenance fee. Uh, and part of that is the actual instance that you're running in, uh, in the Amazon Web Service Services Cloud. Uh, and then once you're ready with that, you just click on uh, Accept Terms and click with One Launch. And what will happen is your subscription will start and then your server will actually get started uh, pretty quickly. Um, in order to not delay the video, I already have this set up here, so I'll just click over to that. Um, 
when you go into your um, your EC2 dashboard, um, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to look like here are your instances. Here are the ones that are running. We can see here that we have a Moodle 2.5. That's the one that we're we're running currently, um, and um, you can see that the server is actually running. This takes a couple minutes from after you subscribe for the server to actually start up and start running. Um, what we want from this page though is once we click on this and you can see if I click off it'll uh, not show anything down here but we'll click on that what we want is the public DNS address so we want to copy that open up a new tab we're going to paste that into our new tab here and it takes us to the Amazon Linux AMI test page now that's a great indicator that uh, Apache is actually running and the server is actually running if you are not able to connect to this page, then something else, uh, you might have some other kind of problem. Uh, maybe the security group is not set up correctly. Uh, there could be other issues. Um, you, um, so for now though, let's do just a forward slash and then type in Moodle. That'll take us into our, our Moodle page. Um, looks like we are already signed in here. Um, but let me just show you, let's say, do a log out. Uh, we'll just log back in here and so we're going to type in the password here it's going to be M come on M O O D L E 1 1 capital uh, explanation mark click on login and then we're going to have to try it one more time. And M O O M O O D L E one one explanation mark. And that should take us right into the server. Uh, now you're ready to actually start adding new courses. Um, and so I think what we've done is really taken away some of the, the pain of actually doing the installations, uh, working on the, uh, the database, setting up permissions uh, locally on the server, all those type of things is, is something that we've gotten rid of. Um, one thing I did want to point out here was back on our uh, webpage, on the uh, on learning point webpage, uh, if you do have run into any problems, you can go into this page over here and go to the about and then contact. Uh, here you'll see a form that you can you can fill out, um, which will make it. Um, uh, well, if you run into any snags, you can just fill this form out and then uh, and then someone will contact you uh, regarding that issue. So, uh, to recap, I think uh, that this is a great, easy solution. Uh, makes it much easier to get started uh, with some some software that might be not exactly overly complex, but it could uh, prevent some present some challenges if you are not used to uh, working with PHP and web servers and that kind of thing. Um, one of the thing also the things I wanted to mention was that in the future we'll probably be adding no we will be adding. Uh, additional uh, open source products to this um, learning stack uh, and so we want to make it um, a very robust and fully functional uh, learning system um, so look for future videos for that um, also we're going to be doing a video if you do already have an existing installation we'll be doing a video for uh, a 2.5 to 2.6 upgrade uh, so look out for that. So thank you for your time today and have a good day.